Assalamualaikum sahabat SCLC Lasik Center Senang sekali berjumpa kembali dengan kami di acara SCLC Lasik TV season kedua Nah sekarang edukasi yang kali ini sangat spesial sekali Karena kami kedatangan tamu yang luar biasa yaitu dokter mata dari Nepal siapakah dia? tunggu ya, yang satu ini lewat Ya, sahabat Asia Charity Center. Nah, ini dia tamunya, yaitu Dr. Kishore Raj Pratman. Halo, Dr. Kishore. Hi. I thank you for having me. Up. <laughs> yes, it's honor to us. You come to Jakarta, and welcome to Jakarta. And uh, what do you think about Jakarta? Well, Jakarta is a very beautiful city. This is my first time in Indonesia. And more than what I had expected, it's very beautiful. Oh, I like the people. The weather is beautiful. I thought it'd be very humid and hot, but it's very nice. Everybody's very hospitable. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Kisha, uh, maybe you uh, can would you uh, introduce yourself? Yes. Upon our so, sound like. So my name is like uh, Kishore Rajpradhan. I have been an eye surgeon for the past 23 years. And I was doing more mainly general ophthalmology. But for the past 13 years, I've been a refractive surgeon. I did my training in London with Professor Dan Reinstein. And I did a lot of LASIK and SMILE. And I've been a part of clinical trials for smile with myopia as well as hyperopia and now i've been associated with schwind i tech solutions in germany itself for the past five years and i've been very very involved with the making of a procedure called smart site one of the world's most advanced lenticular extraction pro processes with the lasers the femtosecond laser she's all i have to say oh. Oh, it's very honor, yeah? yeah. You come to our clinic, SIO Chirasi Center. Oke, okay, sahabat SIO Chirasi Center, benar-benar luar biasa kan, Dr. Kishore ini. Nah, setelah satu ini, baru kita lanjutin lagi. Yeah, uh, why, uh, why the patient afraid to do that sufficient correction, Dr. Kishore? How about your opinion? Yes, um, the laser vision correction, the moment you talk about doing surgery in your eye. Most of the people are very scared of doing surgery, thinking that something might go wrong. And if it goes wrong, they might fall flying. So the first thing I have to say is laser surgery is actually safer than, much more safer than even contact lenses. So anything going wrong with laser surgery is lesser than having an infection with contact lenses. And the fear that something will go wrong and that something bad might happen and the vision is going to go blurry. Even if things go wrong, there's always a procedure mm. that can fix things. So the biggest fear for people is they don't know that anything goes wrong can be fixed. Mm. So nowadays things are, there's so many laser procedures in the world that can actually really fix things very easily in a span of 30 to 50 seconds. For example, ectasias or dysentery, anything like the laser I used with Schwindamaris can actually really treat the problem that has happened by anywhere in 30 seconds, actually. Okay, so this is what people don't know that if anything goes wrong can be retreated immediately. 
So that is the biggest fear of patients. And I think it is the percentage of things going wrong is like 0.01%. I think it's probably one in 10,000. Okay. That's the procedure of life support patient for action is very safe. Safe action, yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is our best So it is safe plus, sorry. It is safe plus. If anything happens, it is also repairable. You can repair. Okay, so what we have to understand is when a surgeon says, I am about 0.1% accurate with everything. So the patient thinks like, Okay, what if that 0.1% is me? Yeah. Okay, that is a 100% yeah. disaster yeah. Yeah. in the patient. Mm -hmm. But then again, that can be repaired with the laser, any laser procedure. Yeah. That can be repaired actually. Yeah. Ya, yeah, sahabat SCH Life Center, jadi memang prosedur laser vision correction ini memang safe dan bila sampai terjadi hal-hal yang tidak diinginkan atau tidak diharapkan, kita bisa melakukan suatu tindakan ulangan untuk memperbaiki hal tersebut. According to your experience, Dr. Kishore, how about uh, the procedure laser vision correction is uh, the best for each patient or is depend on examination pra laser vision correction surgery? See, for me, I think uh, if you really ask me, what procedure should I do to this person or that person depends purely on examination. For example, a hyperopic patient, mm -hmm. a person with a plus power, a LASIK treatment is the best. Then you have younger patients who have strong corneas and very little higher order brains. I could basically go with smart side. Oh. Thinner corneas, I can go with smart surf, PRK. You know, mm -hmm. and some people who want very early rehabilitation can go with LASIK. So depending on person or some people who have very high, higher order aberrations mm -hmm. or some people who have form for skeletal corners or some patients who have higher order aberrations can be treated accordingly. And they, most of the time, treatments are customized. Mm -hmm. So treatments will vary from person to person, I think. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it doesn't have to be one procedure. You cannot say I'm going to do smart side or LASIK or smile. This is the best. Okay. But for someone, this procedure could be very good. Yeah. But for the other person, that procedure might not be the best yeah. procedure, yeah. but something else might be the best procedure. Yeah. So we try as surgeons, we understand the corneal thickness, we understand mm -hmm. the vision quality, the high order aberrations, and I think it is best from our surgeon's side to explain to the patient that this is the right procedure for you. Yeah. And not, not asking the patient to go into YouTube or this and that, and then getting a fixed image saying like, oh, I want to do this procedure. So, you know, sometimes yeah. even mm -hmm. if the patient says, I want to do this procedure, it is from our side, we should be able to convince the patient that this is not the right procedure for you. But something else is the right procedure for you. So there are more than five to 10 procedures actually, you know, mm -hmm. femtosecond laser itself. Mm -hmm. There's so many laser platforms. In the mm -hmm. eczema world, you have the PRK, mm -hmm. trans PRK, mm -hmm. LASIK, mm -hmm. and so many other things with microkeratome with the flat. Yeah. So I think the best thing would be, it's on our side to explain to the patient that mm -hmm. this is the right procedure for you, yeah. so that the patient don't feel that even though I wanted this, and I've done this, and uh, they don't. They should not feel that they have done a lower quality yeah. surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that uh, is very uh, depend on the yeah? Exactly. Which exactly. one the best for the patient? Yeah. yeah. That's very individual. Individual. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, masih ada pertanyaan ya. Tetap di Sikasik Tutu, season kedua. Ya, uh, sahabat SCLC Asi Center, ini tinggal pertanyaan terakhir, kita tanyakan uh, berikutnya ya. Uh, Dr. Kishore, uh, I have an experience uh, for myself. Um, uh, some patient asked me about the laser machine. Maybe uh, he is, uh, he look at the social media about the 
uh, examining here and from the second reason. Uh, can you explain about that? So my, I have a comment or a, I have a small say to all the patients who want to do laser eye surgery. So when you start thinking about laser eye surgery, you start going into Google or you start looking into YouTube videos, you look into so many things, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, when you start looking into all the things, you get, I think, hundreds of things come into in the internet. Mm -hmm. So you come into LASIK, LASIK, Dura LASIK, yeah. Smart Surf, all that will come into. Yeah. And you have Smile and Smart Sight, so on so on. Talk about silk, someone talk about clear. Yeah. And the patient is so confused. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, there are only two lasers. Mm -hmm. One is the eczema laser, and one is the yeah. femtosecond laser. So yeah. eczema world, you're doing most of the procedures are like PRK, mm -hmm. transepithelial PRK, mm -hmm. and then you're doing LASIK. Mm -hmm. All right. And in the femtosecond world, it is you have so many femtosecond blood. You have. The ones that I've used are with Zeiss and with Schwinn. Mm -hmm. And then there are two more others are Chancer and Clear. But the main thing they're doing is taking a lenticular, mm -hmm. making a flap. Mm -hmm. So you have either LASIK or you have lenticular. So basically it comes to two things. Mm -hmm. So people shouldn't get confused about what procedure I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that you can do is you can either do an exam procedure or a femtoscan procedure. Mm -hmm. So I've worked with many, many lasers and right now, I'm working with the Schwinn platform. Mm -hmm. The exam laser with Schwinn is the Amaris 1050. Mm -hmm. And the treatments that we do with Schwinn are most of the times customized. Mm -hmm. So whatever the patient needs, the laser can give it. Through the scans, the eye track is beautiful. They're always on the center. There's no decentration. Mm -hmm. And the results are amazing like doing all that. And even in the femtosecond world, with the Atos femtosecond laser that mm -hmm. I've been working with the Schwinn laser for the past five years, mm -hmm. there's a procedure called Smart Sight. Mm -hmm. So it is a very, very advanced and a developed procedure mm -hmm. where you, you take the lenticular out, but very customized. Mm -hmm. So customized in the sense it'll do exactly what the patient needs to do. Mm -hmm. The treatments are great. The results are great immediately from day one. So the cornea is stronger, mm -hmm. dryness is less, the pain is less. Mm -hmm. And the patient, most of the patient, 99% of the patients are happy about it. But one thing about lenticular extractions compared to LASIK is the visual recovery, mm -hmm. slightly on the slower side. Mm -hmm. So if two people are sitting, as I said, mm -hmm. everybody has a different procedure to do. So a LASIK patient will say, oh, my vision is very clear the next day. Yeah. The smart side patient might say, oh, my vision is slightly mm -hmm. not as clear as yours. Yeah. But then the LASIK patient might have more dryness compared to the smart side. Yeah. So by the end of one week, both the visual are the same. Yeah. But on the long run, I think smart side is an amazing procedure. Mm -hmm. Only has a strong dryness is less. Mm -hmm. In one week, you can, in five days, you can start serving and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. most of my patients are uh, the ones who are in the army. Mm -hmm. They can go back to commando training immediately. Mm -hmm. After one week or five days, mm -hmm. they can go back, which is not possible with LASIK because with LASIK, commando training and contact sports are still unscared yeah. because the flap is still not that strong enough. Yeah. The only thing is that the vision recovery is slightly on the slower side, but on the long run, I think there's a lot of advantage. And I'm a big fan of Smart Side. I love Smart Side. Seventy mm percent -hmm. of our patients in my clinic, mm -hmm. they do, they get Smart Side procedure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a fast recovery or yes. The in the lenticule yeah. procedures, compared to any other lenticule, I would think Smart Side is the best procedure. Mm -hmm. But for the vision, the recovery of vision, slightly slow, but better than any other lenticular procedure. But we are trying to do what is best for the patient. Mm -hmm. If you think smart sight is not the best thing to do for the patient, mm -hmm. it is better to do LASIK or smart sir mm -hmm. or any other procedure where mm -hmm. we can customize the treatment. Yeah. 
So this is again decided by the surgeon. And uh, I'm so happy I've come to the clinic, Ovia. Yeah. I saw the investigating equipment. You have the highest, the best quality investigating equipment. Yeah. So the investigating equipment is also very, very important because the surgeon can immediately tell you whether you are safe for surgery or not safe. Yeah. And it is very important that when the surgeon says it is not safe for surgery, that you should not go for surgery. Yeah. And if the surgeon said this procedure is not safe for you, let's go for this other procedure, you should do that. Yeah. And then I looked at the lasers, you have an MRS, which is yeah. again one of the world's yeah. most advanced laser procedures, can do so many things, yeah. as well as an atrosovia, yeah. and I'm so impressed to see an ADOS because over five years, ADOS has become an amazing result. What an innovation award yeah. in 2021. Yeah. Uh -huh. German innovation yeah. award. And it is one, I think, it doesn't have any other competitor right now, ADOS. So uh -huh. I think. You're very with the result of the smart side. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Same to me. <laughs> we did a smart chart too. Yeah. Yes. We are also happy with the result. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's very interesting topic, right? Uh, the techie chart. But unfortunately, we have to end it, <laughs> this discussion um, for uh, Sambat Asia Chinese Center. Uh, ini pembicaraan yang sangat menarik dan tetapi kita harus menghentikan karena waktunya memang sudah uh, terbatas tetapi jangan lupa masih banyak yang akan kita sampaikan di lain waktu tentang edukasi kesehatan mata bila ada pertanyaan yang kurang jelas bisa langsung bertanya di whatsapp di bawah ini Sahabat SCA Chelsea Center, selesai sudah pembicaraan yang sangat menarik dengan Dr. Kishore Rajpratna, dokter spesialis mata dari Nepal. Tertarik kan? Mau melakukan tindakan masik? Silahkan hubungin ke SCA Chelsea Center, WhatsApp yang tadi. Nah, eh, sahabat, kita harus hentikan sampai ketemu lagi di lain waktu. Saya Dr. Sofia, mohon nunggu diri sampai ketemu di episode yang akan datang. Ingatlah sih. Ingat, Ingat. sukses. So